to become Canadian and to be able to vote this time, I think, is, 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 is emotional and empowering. For Rachel Pang, being able to vote in the upcoming provincial election is monumental. I'm very proud and very honoured to have this privilege. Pang moved to Canada in 2019, fleeing Hong Kong, where she worked as a lawyer and an environmentalist. Officially becoming a Canadian citizen this month, filled with Canadian pride and excited to head to the polls on October 19th. I experienced firsthand the political oppression there in Hong Kong, and, and there are still people, political prisoners, sitting in jail. And what they're fighting for, what they were fighting for, is just universal suffrage. So. So coming from a place that we fought and we, unfortunately to say, we lost, and 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 to see how like freedom just like taken away, it's almost like overnight. So so this is why I think voting in a place that people's voices can be heard. And, and, and it is truly important. She says she needs to prioritize which policies are most important to her and is reading party platforms to figure out which party she best aligns with, using the party websites as well as AI like ChatGPT to gather information. Undecide, undecide still. The two biggest concern is um, foreign election interference and, and and then the second one is um, health care. Pang says the hardest part was finding a family doctor and says it's an issue plaguing far too many British Columbians. And when it comes to the party platforms surrounding health care... I just read, by the way, the, the platform and the answers I'm, not, I get, I'm getting I'm not satisfied by both major parties, I'm not satisfied. Pang points to things like medical entrance exams and says she has questions for candidates she plans on asking at a town hall for residents from Hong Kong ahead of the election. And her advice to other new Canadians who may be on the fence about casting a ballot. To vote is, 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 a, is a personal and civic responsibility. So even back in the days when I was in Hong Kong, when we had the opportunity to vote, uh, I always feel like, okay, I'm, I'm actually like, this is my duty to, to, to vote as a, as a citizen. So it's to participate, right? Yeah. To participate in the society and the country that we, now I call it home, Canada is my home, and, and like to participate, to try to make it a better place. From Vancouver, Adrian South, City News.